sprayed the AutoZone no longer wants to do uh, Mobile One with Mobile One. They want to do this crap. But I was assured by guys on the Scotty Kilmer farm that these were still very quality oil filters. But I'm looking at these pleats. Consistent, consistent, consistent. Gap. Consistent, consistent, consistent. You know, that gap, if it's not well sealed with glue, it could be an unfiltered zone. I'm feeling kind of extra unexcited, even though I was assured that this would be good enough. Because STP used to not make that great of filters, but they're supposed to have gone up in quality for their higher end line. Not all the companies actually make it. So this could actually be made by the same people as Mobile One, but Mobile Ones, I couldn't see the pleats without taking the, it apart. Just food for thought. I'm going to have to be going to check my oil more often between oil changes to make sure it's not getting dirtier faster. If it seems just as clean as always, uh, then it'll be, it'll have been okay. 10% overdue for my oil change. I think my oil needs to be changed every 5,000 miles. It is a 2000 Ford before they went with longer intervals. So, that doesn't look too bad. If I can on a similarly sunny day, record again, maybe I'll be able to tell the difference between a maximum life STP and an extended life STP rated at 10,000 miles versus 15,000 miles. But, Truth be told, it just looks like I'm 10% overdue for my oil change, so. Uh, truck didn't like that. Uh, I can tell the difference, so. I can see the pleats on the non-Max Life, but on the Max Life, they built a stronger cage to support the filter, which does mean higher quality but it does mean I can't see the pleats. Maybe I'll do a tear down after a while. Build up a couple of these if I can resist not throwing them away after the finish draining away from the oil. Okay. Clearly, I can see it at least. That is a, you can see through the holes that this is very high end filter material on the maximum line. And then when it's just extended life, which isn't as fancy, it's that traditional more paper filter. And they have these wide open holes that the uh, fluid could go through after it goes through the filter. But on this one, I hate it. See those perforations? They go up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's going to create a tremendous amount of vertices in the oil flow, and it will slow down the flow through this filter. I don't like the current change on the mobile one. Last one I saw, those those pieces, I didn't realize that they flowed, those openings flowed up and down at the same time, creating all kinds of flowing issues. I'm not a fan of this one right now. I ran each of these had, saw no difference in in uh, or felt no difference in how the car drove. All looked the same at 5,000 miles. So basically, the difference between your extended life and maximum life, though, they're both sufficient since I have short oil change intervals on my truck. If you actually wanted to go these kinds of miles, you might need the higher end one, but that that's just not fitting with the very low volume of oil that fits in my truck but this is a looks like a standard paper they're mostly tight there's a couple that are a little bit looser but those open holes will allow really great flow and will not create flow issues like the mobile ones with those little tiny holes that point up and down and then on this one you upgrade again in my opinion because it has little tiny still bands I'm guessing still in the pleats and it looks like a synthetic media material so this truly is excellent filter I've swum by a mobile one for a very long time but those metal holes I'm not paying the extra money for for a flow like that I'm just not gonna do it